So Make Out is a Belarusian anti-discriminative project about gender and sexuality. We founded ourselves in January of 2014. Uh, so at the beginning there was three of us, but now there is 13 people. Uh, we work in Belarus and we want to make this world better for our lives. I would say it depends on uh, what kind of feminist you are. Uh, so that would be easier for me to talk about myself. Uh, mostly that's something about uh, expectations, what people from the society made for you. Uh, like you should be more kind, or you should smile, or you should look the same particular way. And uh, sometimes that could be some uh, aggressive part of it. Sometimes it's pretend to be kind one. But uh, in any case, that's something what I do not prefer to have. I could tell there is uh, exist in some countries, uh, but I would not add Belarus in this uh, particular list because that's a pretty uh, hard story of uh, street protest in here. So uh, there should be a special culture when people go to the streets and fight for something. Uh, in some countries, like in Belarus, for example, these things uh, continue to be impossible. So I would say yes, but that's not for all of us, so we should measure the difference. At that point, uh, my particular interest hides in uh, mass market, especially in clothes. And uh, I'm a big fan going to the different shops and see what's going on around, what kind of clothes people are selling. So that's kind of a uh, museum walk for me, when you could observe uh, the world tendencies while you're going there. So my favorite moment is uh, with different uh, mass market stores like uh, H&M, when you see uh, a big variety of different t-shirts and bags and everything, and even special stickers. So that's kind of... Um, self-made clothing when you just take this uh, sticker and put it somewhere but from the other side it costs uh, eight oira and uh, that's pretty fun so uh, together with these situations yeah it works and i really hate it <laughs> Uh, that's an interesting moment within uh, feminist solidarity. I felt it on myself uh, just two years ago while I was traveling around Europe and I uh, needed to find a host for myself. So I thought that could be pretty difficult. I do not know this particular person and everything, but finally I found myself uh, with a lot of people around me who supported me and all of them were feminists. Uh, that's how I understood that um, this kind of solidarity, that's something what unites us.